Welcome, friends. Come in the house. Welcome back to the Rainbow Ballroom for another edition of Tuesday Evening Virtual Vespers. Going to let folks gather here for just a little bit. It's the 17th day of May in the year 2022 and the sixth Sunday of Easter that we're coming up on. And I say Easter people say Alleluia because we are Easter people who can say Alleluia. Tonight's theme is Jesus showing us the way to heaven. Jesus showing us the way to heaven. Hello Bernadine. Hello Kathy O'Halloran. Hello, Jeffrey, my gold medal winner. Come on in the house. Welcome back to the Rainbow Ballroom. I'm Tom Dendy, and I'm the pastor of Celebration Presbyterian Church located in the Carolina Forest community of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Celebration has been offering these Tuesday evening Vespers since early in the time of the pandemic. And our hope is that it can bring you a little cheer. On a Tuesday evening, we gather together around some scripture and time of singing and praying together, reminding each other of things going on in the life of the world and the life of the church. Um, there's been a whole lot of shooting going on in the world and it, it grieves my heart. Uh, every time I hear another story about a mass shooting and I'm sure it saddens you as well. So let's gather in tonight and uh, we'll spend some time with God and one another. As we're gathering, I've got a couple of gathering songs and we'll start with uh, a medley of Do Lord and This Little Light of Mine, a couple that I think you'll know so well you can fall right in and sing along with me. Come on in the house. Jody, welcome Jody. Welcome Carol Mitchell. Welcome Paula Jansen. Let's join together and sing Do Lord and then we'll do This Little Light of Mine. Well, do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me. Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me. Do Lord, oh do Lord. the 
I'm going to sing I'll Fly Away and I invite you once more to stamp your foot and clap your hand and join me in singing. Well, some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. I'll fly away. I'll fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away in the morning when I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. Well, when the shadows of the flight have gone, I'll fly away like a Bars has flown. I'll fly away. I'll fly away. Oh, glory. I'll fly away in the morning when I die. Hallelujah. Bye. everybody to Tuesday evening virtual Vespers on this 17th day of May. We're coming up on the sixth Sunday of Easter and I say as Easter people we've got to shout hallelujah, hallelujah. And our theme for tonight is Jesus showing us the way to heaven. Let's begin with a call to worship. God of love you come to us. Giver of life you make your home with us. Spirit of God, you teach us your truth. Defender of our souls, you remind us of all that we have heard. Risen Christ, you give us your peace. We receive you, we worship you, and we give you thanks tonight as we gather together in Jesus' name. Alleluia. Let's pray together. God, you sent Jesus to be our way, our truth, and our life. Help us to listen to him now, to be united in his word, and to be empowered by his spirit. He made promises to us. Help us to listen so that we may treasure those promises in our hearts and see their fulfillment in our lives. Gracious God, renew us in your word, we pray. Amen. Welcome, friends. It's good to be together again. Uh, I have another song for us that's out of the uh, old gospel tradition. Be not dismayed whate'er betide, God will take care of you. Be not dismayed whate'er betide, God will take care of you. Beneath his wings of love abide, God will take care of you. God will take care of you through every day or all the way. He will take care of you. Yes, God will take care of you. Days of toil when heart doth fail, God will take care of you. When dangers fierce your path assail, 
God will take care of you. Yes, God will take care of you through every day. scripture focuses on John 14 verses 1 to 7 and then a section of Revelation chapter 21 verses 1 to 7. I invite you to listen in and hear the word of God. Hello Linda Henderson, Jody welcome back. Linda good to see you in the mix tonight. I invite you to listen in and hear the gospel from John 14 1 to 7. Jesus is speaking and he says, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. And if it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I'm going. Thomas said to Jesus, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? And Jesus said to Thomas, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. And from now on, you do know him and have seen him. Then from Revelation chapter 21 verses 1 to 7, John is speaking about his vision and he says, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. God will dwell with them as their God. They will be his people, and God himself will be with him. With them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. For the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I'm making all things new. Also, he said, Write this, for the words are trustworthy and true. And then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit these things, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. Friends, this is God's word for God's people, and it abides forever. And we can all collectively say, thanks be to God. Welcome, John Blows. Come on in. Welcome, Mary Lou Strom. Good to have you with us. I hope your health is stabilizing and that you're feeling well. Um, in these passages, uh, Jesus is opening our minds to the scriptures. Um, he's offering to ease our worried minds. And this was as the disciples were trying to wrap their heads around the fact that 
shortly he was going to be crucified and they just weren't understanding that. And we, like the man earlier in scripture dealing with Jesus, say, I believe, help my unbelief. It's hard to wrap our heads around all the things that we face in this lifetime and that we face in our faith as well. Show me that you're the way, Lord. Help me follow you home. Heaven is a wonderful place. Um, Jesus is talking about how they're to follow him and to get to where he's going. And when they claim not to know the way, he reminds them that he is the way and the truth and the life. So we're to keep our eyes focused on him and follow as we can. One of the camp songs we used to sing that was sort of a, a round said, Heaven is a wonderful place filled with glory and grace. I want to see my Savior's face cause heaven is a wonderful place. I want to go there. Heaven is a wonderful place filled with glory and grace. I want to see my Savior's face cause heaven is a wonderful place. Well, the question for us is can we keep our focus on Christ and the things of Christ in this world? He promises to be with us, and he promises that he's not going to orphan us, leaving us alone, but that he's sending another to be with us, the promised Holy Spirit. So we ask him to intercede for us through the Holy Spirit and to help us to remain faithful as we seek to follow him in faithfulness. One thing we're assured of is God's faithfulness to us. So I want to share, great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changes not thy compassions, they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hands have provided. Great is thy faithfulness. Summer and winter and springtime and harvest, sun, moon, and stars in their courses above, join with all nature in manifold witness to thy great faithfulness, mercy, and love. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning new mercies I see. All I have needed thy hands have provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Pardon for sin and a peace that is Strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. Blessings all night with ten thousand beside. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me.
Well, join me for a prayer. Welcome, Mary Lou. Glad you're here. Randall, good to have you in the house. Roger Worthington, welcome back. Let's bow our heads together and pray. Loving God, you are our heart and our home. Your Christ is in us, and we are in you through him. We make a home for you here in our hearts as we gather together in this time of worship and reflection. So come be with us all in and through your love. For it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. next hymn out of our hymnal is one that often is requested here I am Lord I'm the Lord of sea and sky I have heard my people cry all who dwell in dark and sin my hand will save all who made the stars of I will make the darkness bright. Who will bear my light for them? Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard. If you need me, I will hold your people in my heart. I, the Lord of snow and rain, I have borne my people's pain. I have wept in love of them, I till they turn away. I will break their hearts of stone, give them hearts for love alone. I will speak my word to them, whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have Spread, I will provide till their hearts be satisfied. I will give my life for them. Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard. If you need me, I will hold your people in my heart. I want to share a little bit more of Revelation chapter 21 starting with verses 22 to 26 John is speaking of his vision and he said I saw no temple in the city 
for its temple is the Lord God, the Almighty, and the Lamb. And the city has no need of sun or moon to shine on it, for the glory of God is its light, and its lamp is the Lamb. The nations will walk by its light, and the kings of the earth will bring their glory into it. Its gates will never be shut by day, and there will be no night there. People will bring into it the glory and the honor of the nations. I find it fascinating that there'll be no need for light because God's light will be the source. And there'll be no night, no darkness whatsoever because God will continue to radiate that love and that light around the clock. Not sure how an alarm kicked off, but sorry for that interruption. Way back in 1979 or so, I first heard this song by a Christian contemporary artist at the time whose name is Pat Terry. He was out of Atlanta, and it's called Home Where I Belong, and it's a song about heaven. They say that heaven is pretty, and living here is too. And if they said that I would have to choose between the two, I'd go home. I'd go home where I belong. Sometimes when I'm dreaming, comes as no surprise that if I look and see that homesick feeling in my eyes, I'd go home. I'm going home where I belong. serve him gladly sing him all these songs well I'm here but not for long when I'm feeling lonely and when I'm feeling blue it's such a joy to know that I Poundly passing through I'm headed home I'm going home Where I belong One day I'll be sleeping When death knocks on my door I'll awake to find that I'm not homesick anymore. I'll be home. I'll be home where I belong. And while I'm here, I'll serve him gladly, sing him I'm here, but not for long. Well, they say that heaven is pretty, and living here is too. But if they said that I would have to choose between the two, I'd go home. Going home where I belong. Well, a few reminders, friends. 
We invite you to worship with us on Sundays. We meet together at the church at 11 a.m. as well as broadcasting through Facebook live stream. We're located at 2300 Carolina Forest Boulevard in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We're right next door to the Recreation Center and the Public Library in the heart of Carolina Forest. So as I said, Sundays we're in person and we're on Facebook live stream. So we'd love to have you join with us either way that works best for you. Wherever you are, even at a distance, you can tune in and join with us. Next Sunday, uh, not this coming, but the 29th of May, we're going to have Graduate Recognition Sunday, and we have one college graduate and one high school graduate that we'll be celebrating their accomplishments with. I invite you back for more Tuesday evening virtual Vespers on May 24th at 7.30 p.m. I remind you that if you need a daily boost, we recommend the daily devotion known as D365.org. It's an online devotion and there's good music behind the message. And you simply go to D365.org. If you subscribe to it, they send you a daily reminder in your email. Uh, and it's good stuff. It can bolster you through difficult times and the good times as well. We are still collecting staple food items and personal care items for our food insecure neighbors in Horry County. We're, we have a collection place at our church and uh, it's inside now. We no longer have a box out in the parking lot, uh, but we invite you to drop things by that we can share with our neighbors in need. Uh, we also send out two e email blasts, one on Tuesday and one on Thursday. And if you would like to receive those and you're not on our email list, if you'll simply reach out to the church office at 843-903-0308, that's 843-903-0308, we'd be glad to add your email to the list and promise not to spam you and fill your inbox up with uh, needless stuff. We'll send out a Tuesday and a Thursday uh, email reminder of things going on in the life of the church and Thursday focuses mostly on our order of worship for Sunday, especially for those who are still worshiping at home. Welcome Jackie Sennett. Good to have you tonight and Cindy Sluter Johnson. Welcome. It's good to have you. Um, we're still having instances of the pandemic cropping up. We've, there's still folks with the coronavirus and its variants. Um, Thankfully, numbers have been down, but with weather improving and large group gatherings going on, we're being warned by the CDC to watch out for an upcrop, uh, an uptick in numbers again of the virus. So do your part to be well and stay well. Stay in if you have a fever or feel flu-like. Check on your friends and family and help them do what they need to do to stay safe as well. The Red Cross is in a constant need of blood. If you're able to donate, please offer a pint, give for those in need, and uh, it's just something worthwhile to do. This coming Saturday from 10 to 12 at the church, we're having a bike and biker blessing. Uh, it's biker week in Myrtle Beach, and we're anticipating a nice crowd coming in with their motorcycles. We'll have a time of worship together and a blessing for the bikes and bikers. And then a light meal will be served there at the church and it's free and it's open to all. So we welcome you to come out. Uh, even motorcycle enthusiasts, you don't have to be a rider. Just come out and enjoy the time being with and seeing the beautiful bikes that will be on display there. So that's this Saturday, and it's happening from 10 to 12. Hello, Candace McRae. Welcome. Friends, I want to offer this benediction tonight. May the grace of God uphold you, and the peace of God surround you, and the love of God flow from you, and the strength of God protect and bring you safely through this day and through this week until we meet again.
Don't know how I had an evening uh, alarm set, but somehow it's coming through. One final song to share with you is called How Can I Keep From Singing? And this is the Chris Tomlin version. There is a Friends, I want to thank you for joining me again this evening for Tuesday Evening Virtual Vespers. This has been the Jesus Showing Us the Way to Heaven edition of our Virtual Vespers. 
I remind you that we invite you to be a part of our worshiping community on Sunday mornings where we gather at 11 at 2300 Carolina Forest Boulevard in Myrtle Beach. Or you can join us on the Celebration Facebook page for our Facebook live stream. However you choose to join, we pray that you will. And we're glad that you've been with me tonight. I hope to see you back next week. And I say to you, as I try to say each week, on behalf of Celebration Presbyterian Church, I'm Tom Dindy, pastor of the church, and I remind you that God loves you, and so do we. So take care until we meet again. God bless you. If you're in the Myrtle Beach area, please look twice to save a life because there are a lot of motorcycles on the road right now. And that reminds me, if you're in town Saturday, come join us at the church from 10 to 12 as we have our bike and biker blessing, and we'll have a good time, I promise you. Take care.